Giacomo? Sto qua! Oh, Giacomo, che ci fai qui? Eh, io guardavo sto puledrino ora, ve. L'ultima annata della stagione. Eh? Simpatica, eh? E allora che dite? Tutto bene. E la Robin? La Robin è là sopra, ora andiamo a vederla, vai. Qui siamo in doccia tutte le fattrici, queste qui sono tutte fattrici o gravide oppure che aspettano dei partorire. Sei persone che prendono cura soltanto delle fattrici e della riproduzione. Andiamo là sopra, andiamo, che ho i, cavalli, i cavalli di Parigi sono qua sopra. Perché praticamente... Lì c'è le fattrici, qua c'è una scuderia a stallone e di là c'è un'altra scuderia che cavalli in addestramento. Training center vuol dire non solo cavalli in addestramento, ci abbiamo anche stalloni ne ha un condizionamento pieno. Robin! Hello! Francesca! How are Giacomo? How are you? Welcome back to Italy. Thank you. Paris is coming, eh? 21 days. Tension. <laughs> no, it's all good. It's you both all good. are working good together? We're ready. We are ready. Yeah, we've had almost, we'll have three months together and the horses are fit and ready to go to the horse show. They're happy. Who is this? This is Jal. Remember Jal Aldismia? Hey, Jal, yes. He was silver world champion yearling colt and he's a big boy now, huh? He's a two year old. He's going to be competing in the junior stallions. So, Giacomo, I will stay with Robin, sorry, but I want to enjoy my day with her. Bye-bye. <laughs> I go back and uh, maybe cut more grass. This is Nadim El Arab. He's by WH Justice out of Omel Euphoria. Uh, silver champion in Scottsdale in the International and silver champion in Las Vegas in the Junior Stallions. And then he came here and he was the gold champion Junior Stallion in Chantilly. Wow. And he is being prepared for Paris. His eyes are amazing. Aren't they beautiful? Oh, yeah. I mean, that is just what artists dream of. Yes, when they're painting. Absolutely. I just finished working him and now I'm going to take him to his stall and I'm going to let him continue to sweat. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, when they start sweating and then when they're being worked at, they, they continue to sweat for another 30 minutes after they're done. That. There's no difference words. between a horse and a human being. When it's okay. cold, you start to wear more clothing, layers. Okay. Like one, two, three for me. And here he's got one, two, and then when eh, he will get a rinse because you would want to take a shower after you got done exercising and sweating all over the place. So we rinse them off. It's important that they stay clean because you know they wear a lot of blankets and sheets and all of that. So you have to really take good care of their skin and their 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 coat and make sure everything's clean okay. and keep them warm. That's very important. The most important. Uh, is the, the, the colored horses, the bays and the chestnut horses. Oh, you have to take really, really pay, pay close attention to their coats and how warm they are. You don't want them to get too hot. You don't want them to get too cold because when it's cold, they want to fluff up and, and grow more hair. What we're trying to achieve in the winter months is we're trying to achieve what the horses look like in the summer. You know, in the summer months, they, they lose all of the hair because it's hot around their muzzles and around their eyes, and, and their coat is very tight and, and laid down and beautiful. But then in the fall, the light changes. They start to grow hair, and it's just not the same. It's their winter coat, not their summer coat. So uh, we've, got, uh, we've got some tricks in the trade that we do to, to make the horse think that it's summertime and get that summer coat in the wintertime. Okay. As you can see here, these three stalls here 
Each one has two lights. The red light is a heat lamp. The white light is a high wattage. These are my three Bay Phillies for Paris. And they are under lights for 16 hours a day. Wow. It makes their body think that it's summertime. Yeah, it's summertime. And it keeps them from growing a winter coat. That's unbelievable. Yeah. And so we have to make sure that their, their body temperature is good. We don't want them to get cold. And they have on, you know, a sheet, a lightweight blanket. And then when it starts getting colder, then they get their heavier blanket put over top. I just had to take off my heavy jacket because I was getting a little too warm. But I'm sure that when I get my next horse out and I take it up to the arena and I have to go outside, I'm gonna get cold. I'm gonna put my blanket on. So I am the, I am the Algis Mia Farm uh, thermostat. I, <laughs> during the winter months, it's where, are they hot? Are they cold? Blanket on, blanket off. Blanket on, blanket off. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get uh, Figaro. I already worked Figaro this morning, yes. and he's been tied up in his stall and he's been sweating a little bit. So I'm gonna take him out now and give him a nice shower, okay. and I'll show you what we do with them. After they're nice and warm, you get them wet, we gotta get them warm again. So here's Fig. So Figgy's been, he's been tired, he's worked hard. And you see, this is a cooler. You have to work the horses in the winter month with a cooler to keep the body, with the, yeah, the, the heat trapped in there. But then watch what happens. When the horse sweats, all of the sweat rises to the top of this cooler. Do you see that? Wow. Yeah. He's like, hi, everybody. I'm Fig. Hey. Hi. Hi, Fig. Come on, Fig. Feel that. I mean, this. Horses are like people. You've got some people that have, that are really hyper. You have some horses that are really lazy. It just, I mean, they're all individuals. You just have to watch their body language too and see, you know, what kind of a mood they're in that day. You know, the horses will tell you a lot if you just listen and, and watch them. You can tell if a horse is like, oh God, please don't make me work so hard today. And you have to, you have to gauge that. You have to be lighter on them that day or if one, is a little too hot, then you need to work them a little harder that day to take the edge off of them. Now, we are going to make sure that the water is warm. I only use shampoo when they're dirty um, because I don't like to wash away the natural oils of the horse's coat. The healthier the skin, the healthier the coat. In the winter months when they have all of those blankets on them and their body clipped, their skin can get very dry and so, I don't, you see how the water's beating yeah. off of him? Those are the natural oils. Oh, that's a good boy. Sponge it on them. There's a lot more details to pay attention to in the winter months. A lot more. See how that water's beating up? That's what I want to see. This is where we take our horses that are body clipped to come in here and to get warm here. So after the horses are rinsed off, um, that's a good time for Giacomo and I to always look at them because when they're wet and their coats are laying down like that, that's when we can, that's when we can evaluate their muscle tone, their weight and everything. It's all good. All good. All good. You see all this steam escaping his body here? I want a cooler over that to keep all of that heat under this cooler to keep him warm. Right, Fig? Clothes back on you. Now we're gonna do Juhaina Algismia. Okay. And Juhaina Algismia is by WH Justice out of Toscana PGA. She was the Lisa, I'm talking about you. She was the Scottsdale um, gold champion, your, uh, junior filly, international. And then she was um, silver champion in Vegas. And she is here now getting ready for Paris. And hot off the press, her full brother was just named 
United States national champion, Western Pleasure Futurity horse. His name Jaza, right? Isn't it? Jaza Al Jazmia. <laughs> so, meet while her brother's taking care of business in the States, she thought she'd come over here to Paris. <laughs> That's also so good for a Jasmia farm. So, mm. finally, uh, the first winners in performances, Western Pleasure. That's yeah. very good. Eh? It's amazing. It's, it's what it's all about. You know what? To breed horses that are not only beautiful to look at, but there's form to function. Absolutely and they're, they're athletes as well. I see Bart is enjoying that, right? Very much so, <laughs> very much so. I'm yeah. sorry about that. Yeah, me too, me too. I can imagine. Yeah. I, I hope performances will arrive in Europe as well. It, it will, it will, and, and it should. Hi, sweetie. She says, good morning, my hair's a mess. Hey. And her nickname's Juji. 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 Juju girl. She's at the beauty salon getting a facial. <laughs> Keep their skin moist. Oh, she says it feels so good. So we have basically three weeks now before the world championships. And at this point now, we're just paying attention to all the fine details. We've had plenty of time to get these horses totally fit, schooled to where they're showing very well, confident and happy. And now the hard part's over. Now it's just paying attention, like I said, to those small details. You know, do I need to tweak a little bit more here, or tweak a little bit more there? There's different levels of, of schooling horses. <laughs> you don't take them out every day and ask them to be a show horse. When they're trained and they're happy with the doing their job, mm -hmm. you usually don't have to school them a lot. It's gonna be, you know what? It's gonna be a fun horse show. Oh, yeah. There's gonna be some wonderful, wonderful competition there and as it should be, it's the world championships. The, world championship. the best of the best will be there. You know, everybody has, has worked very hard to get to this point. Yeah, we're gonna have one, two, three generations of El Jasmia Farm bred horses. Oh really? Yeah. This is already a third generation? Yeah. Wow. We are all very, very proud of that. Every horse is an individual and every horse has something extra special about it that sets them apart from others. And Juhaina, Juji girl, her, her exceptional, exceptional qualities is that she is so complete. She's so balanced and just everything is equal parts about her with elegance and she can move. She can move, but all I can say is Giacomo better start running real fast <laughs> because he's going to have a hard time to catch up with this one and Schwera and Jaw and the, oh. <laughs> See, she's ready to go. You know, there are some horses that you have to push to work and then there are some horses that you have to hold back. This girl right here, look at her, she is ready. She is ready. Good girl, Gigi. Oh, she's so good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I really do hope that it becomes a popular, you know, performance becomes popular in, in, in Europe, you know, with the Western divisions and hunter pleasure and such, because there's so many disciplines that Arabian horses can, 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 can yeah. They don't have to just be pretty and put up their tail and trot Absolutely. and and try to make you know a high number with scoring systems. They, they're so much more than that. You know, this filly would be an absolutely glorious Western pleasure horse or even hunter horse because she's just so elegant and and such a good mover. Elegant she is about everything that she does. Each horse has a person. You know, and it's not just an assembly line. And that's why I feel very, very fortunate to be in the position to where I can be El Mia Farms show horses person. I understand. 
So what we are doing now? Well, we've got Nadim has been showered now and he's yeah. drying while he's having his lunch. We've got Juhana who's sweating a little bit. So we now go back to Figaro of course. because he's dry now. So it's time to get those clothes on because it's cold. <laughs> so let's go get Figgy. Where's Figgy? Uh-oh. Look at little Figgy. He's just nice and warm. He's laying down in his nice clean bed. Hi, sweetie. Hi, sweetie. You want to get up now so I can put your clothes on? Huh? Now feel his skin. Wow. Yeah. He's the oil. Here you go, sweetheart. Shwera, you have company. Shwera. Shwera. Hey, you've got company. Shwera. Karen. you got company. Look, come over here. She's looking gorgeous. Oh, job. wait till you see her under all of those blankets. Oh, yeah. She looks amazing. You should steal the princess that move like Absolutely. crazy. Absolutely. <laughs> Uh, she's just a bigger princess now. Oh, okay. <laughs> Mesa, you have companies. Look. Mesa. Well, look who came to see you. The queen is here. Oh, the queen. Oh, she's very happy to have company. Every day is a good day to have a carrot. Every day. Okay, now, I mean, that is just, look at her. She is, oh. Quick, shut the door. <laughs> Joel, hey, good night. Here's your good night carrot. Here's your good night carrot. You were a very good boy today. Nadim, yeah, you were a very good boy today. Hi, Chuchi. There you go, sweetie. Good job. You were a real good girl today, huh? Yeah. Shrara. Good job, huh? Hey, sweetie, that's for you. Here. There's dessert. You're a good girl and I love you, okay? You're a good, good girl. We'll see you tomorrow, okay? We can't forget about Fig. Here, Figs. You were a star. He says, I'm a star every day. Francesca! <laughs> good girl. <laughs> so, Robin, the day it's over. We fed the horses, we put the blanket on. I, I, I just enjoyed it. Well, that I am so, nice. so happy that you got to come today and yeah, see the horses. And um, it was just a wonderful day to spend with you. And I'm glad that you got to see Shwera and Mesa yeah. and Jal and Nadim and uh, the whole gang. And we'll see you uh, in Paris. Absolutely, yes. Yeah. Now for me, it was a great pleasure. Already before Menton was nice, but today was even even better. Wonderful. So. <laughs> well, let's let's call it a day. Good night, everybody. Good night. We love you. Good night, Dorsey. I will miss you. <laughs> Ciao! <laughs> I can't wait for everybody in Paris to see the girls and then the new ones that we're bringing because uh, yeah. that's going to be fun. It's, they've changed so much since Menton, you know, Schwera and Mesa. And now it's, this is it. This is the, 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 the grand finale. Well, look at what grand finale we have in front of us. And it's almost orange. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> the sky <laughs> listen to us. <laughs> the light that shines the way. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>